Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the battery and this HP Pavilion uh, PC laptop um, model 3165NGW so somewhere on the back here yeah. the, the model you can see that right there so it doesn't say it anywhere else it just says pavilion i don't know what this thing is b and o or bow i don't know but anyways i need to get my screwdrivers because i forgot to get those before i started the video So I've got the standard stuff, screwdrivers, the magnetic mat, All both of those will be in the link in the description. This computer does work, but there, there's no hard drive. The original one terabyte hard drive died when I got it, so it's already dead. And before you start unscrewing anything, there is one screw underneath this rubber foot thingy. You can see that right there. So, you might want to get a new one of those if you would like to. Mine is still sticky, so I don't need it. But anyways, you can get like a nice Phillips screwdriver and start unscrewing and a screwdriver like this size would work just fine I'm just using the smallest screwdriver bit I have cuz um, yeah so you can see all the screws on the sides here so you'll, you'll have to unscrew all of those these ones are in a weird position Did I even tell you guys what I was going to do, what this video is about? But if I forgot, uh, we're, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery. I, yeah, I just, yeah, I already told you, I just forgot. Screw over here, this is being difficult. Yeah, I need the bigger screwdriver. I'm hoping that I can do some more videos on old PCs, like vintage stuff on this YouTube channel. Just haven't really gotten around to filming that. Because I do a lot of PC stuff upstairs where I used to film with a standing desk. So... fix up all, all sorts of stuff, or I try to fix it for cheap, because I got them for free. I just need to fix this rubber foot thingy. There you go. Anyways, now we can flip it over. Um, once I get this flip. Okay. Now you can open the lid, and once it's open, you want to open the screen all the way. You want to get something thin to get in between the plastic, and just pry it up. And you can just stick it in, and then it'll pop out. So I'm pretty sure a flathead screwdriver would work just fine. You would just put some more scratches into the plastic. And if you don't mind having scratches in your plastic, in the plastic, then it'll work just fine for you. 
But if you have like some thin plastic tool like this one, called a spudger, I'd recommend using that and not a flathead screwdriver. So there we go. It just opens right up. You can lift the laptop up and remove this bottom panel. I just threw that on the floor. And here is the battery, and I just want to take a look at this RAM stick. So this is where the hard drive would be. I removed the original hard drive, and I already threw that one out. Wait. Okay, I thought I was going to sneeze. Um, so here's the lithium-ion battery. And you can just unplug it. And then you can unscrew it from the case, or from the computer. And there's another screw right here, so a total of three screws from what I see. So we can just, oh, there's four screws. Okay, my bad. So you can just remove that and there's the battery. It's a pretty small battery. But once you get in your new battery, you can just pop it in, get it aligned, and then you can just screw it in. It's as easy as that. Then you can plug the battery in. Okay, so now once now that your new battery is plugged in, you just want to give your laptop a test, make sure it's able to post power on self test if you didn't know what that means but if it's able to turn on then you're good so now that that's done I can put this piece that fell out for the hard drive and it, the laptop's still on I thought I turned it off There we go, now it's off. This piece keep, rubber piece keeps falling out. Okay, so now that that's done, it's as easy as that, you just put the piece of plastic back on. Ooh. It's not good. Standoff is broken surrounding plastic. Didn't notice that, so the other three are fine. Not sure if you can see that, but where it screws in right here, it's broken. We'll have to glue that back together, but for now it'll work just fine. So, guessing that you want to clip it in like this. So, if you have any broken screw holes or standoffs, in this laptop, it, I don't think it would be such a big deal since the clips hold it in very securely anyways. So, I don't think you really have to worry, but once you get the bottom panel mostly clipped in, or somewhat clipped in, you can flip it over, open it up, clip the parts that haven't been clipped in, you know, clipped in, and just screw the screws in, and this is, oh, yep, this, this standoff just broke. Yep, it just broke. That's amazing. So, you 
can just screw all these screws in. Huh. There we go. Screw it in. Then we have to peel up this feet. And once you're done, you can just put that back on. There we go. So, I'm just continue screwing in the, the rest of the screws. So, now that that's done, you can power it on. And it does, in fact, turn on in post. So, uh, yeah, I, that's about it for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and check out my Twitter at ufelix5. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.